I've been seeing a lot of Hall of the Nine recently. Slaughter Docks, Ecliptic Bolts. Slaughter Docks is better now that I'm not playing Kench. Feels really bad as Kench though. Kind of down with either of these two. I'm gonna vote for Hall of the Nine though. But of course, while we're getting through the boring stuff, if you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Mighty. And if you're a returning viewer, I always appreciate it. So make sure to sub so you catch the daily content. Milio, I can check the Ixtal immediately. Wind? I do think wind is good. I think the best ones are wind, wood, and electric, personally. But wood has to be used in specific scenarios. Oh wait, Ash reroll maybe? I'd be down for a Vanquisher game. And Warwick's also just a very good unit in general. I mean, we're definitely taking this Challenger start. I guess I'll throw in Samira Samira. Seven gold sitting here. I don't really want to sell Warwick off though. Belt. Okay, so I can't sell anyways. Samira too. I think we're selling Ash at this point because I want this Swain as well. I guess I could just sell... No, because I want Warwick Bear. Warwick Bear is just stronger than Ash Bear for sure. Especially if we hit like Ravenous Hunter here. Sunfire Cape or their Axe Gage. Silver. I think I'm just taking... Well, now I'm taking that. Inconsistency is too good not to take. We have a Noxus start. We hit a Tome. I don't know if I want one of these as my Tome though. I do really want a level, but I don't want to sell these units. Maybe I hold for a turn. This in... It gives me six Jug Challenger Ionian Noxus. We'll just we'll do this for this turn, and then we'll YOLO the trait next turn. Hopefully five streak. Well, even five streaking doesn't matter here. We're inconsistency, so who cares? This guy got Rogue Targon. Were there other people who YOLOed it? No, no. Trying to see who YOLOed. Leave me alone. Uh, no YOLO there. There was a YOLO on this side for an Ixtal emblem. And then this guy YOLOed for something. I'm gonna see what he YOLOed for. Invoker. Okay. I mean, Invoker is probably my best. I could go Zon. I haven't gotten to play Zon yet. I'm down. We go Zon. I want to level here. Go Samira and then Swain. We can check our Zon. Adaptive implant. That's fine for Warwick. I wonder what. Because I want to go six, right? So Jinx, Echo. Silco. I need to think about what that is actually best with though. I'm gonna team plan that just to see. Cause I don't, I haven't played fulls on in 9.5 yet. I think the obvious answer is our sixth one is probably Jarvan. We'll have to see, but five Kim mods? It's five? Okay, well we're definitely playing Jarvan. There's one of them. So let's go Warwick, Jinx, Echo, J4, Silco. I'm missing one. Who am I missing? Oh, I need another emblem. Okay, well, that's really awkward. I also have an Ionian start I could swap into. Ionian jugs. I feel like this is probably slightly better. Kill this. You can do it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I need to get another Zaun emblem. That's really awkward. I didn't realize that there were only four Zaun units now. That explains why six is five Kim mods now instead of gain one more. I still think I'm going to try and go for it. I probably want Glove Warwick. No, I'm trying to... I want Rod, right? All right, well, he took my Rod. I'll take a tier. It's on a Karma as well. Essentially, I'm just building for my Silco with that. That's why I took the tier. Do I swap into this now? Like, I could easily just go like Aurelia karma level and then throw in set it has to be stronger and then i'll put the zon emblem here because it doesn't really matter and if i sell cast i hit 19 and i can sell this extra samira to hit 20. so if i'm still hitting 20 this is for sure worth it i still didn't think about this though like what am i playing after it it's really awkward also how did this guy get a sejuani this is really early to get a sejuani I'm never beating a Sejuani here either. I might be able to kill it though if this... Oh, we still hit 20, so it's fine. Am I slamming a Sunfire? No, because I want to greed at this point, right? But I'm trying to think of how to make this the best possible. Piltover? Maybe it's just add-in challenge here. Like, I mean, I would like to play Nyla, but that's definitely not it. I do enjoy Nyla a lot though. I think she's one of my more favorite units out of this set now. Just fun to watch, actually, whenever she's fighting. And I got a win there, which is great for inconsistency value. Could also just go, like, strategists out of that. Like, just go more strategist. But I feel like I want one more backliner in this scenario, which is why I was thinking... I guess Azir is a strategist. Yeah, that seems good. Then we can play Nasus, and that gives us Jug. We're cooking. We're cooking slowly, but we are cooking. I can sell this. I can sell this. I don't mind selling this off. I'll sell that for sure. This for sure. And this for sure. Cloak. Cloak is not the item I'm looking for. Bow. Cloak bow. What do I do with that? What is this? Spat? 
Can I make a Zon emblem? Please tell me I can make one. Oh, that's so sad. I can make pretty much whatever I want, though. It's not a Bilgewater emblem ever. Definitely supposed to level through this end. Which em is it a Challenger emblem? Could be a Challenger emblem. Or I could just chill with all these and not actually use my items. I don't want to use it. Give me another Zon emblem off this stupid augment, please. One time Zon emblem. I didn't realize that one Zon emblem was now pretty much useless. It could also just be like cut Nasus out, play Swain in that slot, and then have three strat. It's never not today. I don't think it's medium forge. I'll take frequent flyer actually. This would give me strategist if I want it. I want a frontliner though, so Swain's perfect there. And we could make a jug emblem. What's the jug emblem? Armor? I'm kinda down. Nasher's tooth also isn't terrible for Azir. So I could go ahead and slam a Nasher's Tooth, and then we can slam a Jug Emblem on Aurelia. I think six Challenger is bait, and I know I need more to be able to get to that point, so it's just not worth it. We at least killed a unit here. I would have preferred to kill a couple. I'm one away on three upgrades. Well, two upgrades. Jinx isn't an actually up upgrade, so. I also still need an Echo. Echo or Silco gives me four. I think I'm playing this, plus probably just play another strategist. There's Echo. So now I can go Echo, Jinx, Exoskeleton. I'm trying to figure out which one's better for who. Feel like Implant is better here, Exoskeleton's better here. But I do still need to Greed, unfortunately. I can, I could take out Ionian at this point, but that also seems bad. I'm definitely selling some Mira. Which means I get my Nasher's Tooth back. I'm going to have to roll at five. There's no way I can't roll. Like I have, I just have to roll at five, which feels terrible. I'll roll at five looking for this board. Give me a Zir Rod. I already used my Spat, so I actually don't care about that. I do just want a Rod though. So I will take the Rod and I will build... Probably just Gunblade. I also could have taken Tear and went blue buff. This is going to be a very, very uh, different comp. Different is the best way to put it. We do get to level, throw this in. I'll go ahead and just build Gunblade here for now. I'm never building Adaptive Helm, right? I think the cloak goes probably here, but we'll see. I can start rolling next turn, which is really nice. I guess I should just go ahead and roll down to try and get a win, because I need to get a win for my inconsistency value. Yeah, I should have rolled there. I'll roll before next turn. Because I'm definitely not getting a win here. And I think Silco could easily net me a win. We hit J4 and Azir. Okay, that's kind of insane. There's a Jinx. Jinx 2. Echo 2. I rolled to 30. That should be fine. Zon Emblem for sure is going there. Nasher's Tooth is going here. The Gunblade, I would prefer to actually be on... I, I'm just going to Gunblade Azir. I was thinking I would prefer it to be on the uh, Silco once I find him, but it's possible that I just don't find him. I think I'm just supposed to take it as it is and get some wins while I can. And we definitely get a win here. I don't think it's actually worth it for me to go into an MF, though. It's probably the only time you'll ever hear me say that about a redhead. What am I missing? I'm missing one unit, right? Just Silco. Silco over Aurelia, and then I'm good. If that's the case, I can take her out, and I could have, like, put in Nasus. Or actually, I could just take her out and put the MF in. For now, that's gonna be stronger. Glove, Reforger, Rod. I could Reforge a Cloak. Bow? Rage Blade? Yeah, I'm in. And then we can go ahead and do this. Sell this off. We'll make Swain a jug. We're going to try and level from this spot, which feels like like very meh because my front line still seems pretty weak to me. If we level from this spot, we're adding in something else. It could just be MF, but I don't think it is. And it's not Nasus anymore because we have jugs already. We lost that fight and that's not good. It's not Nasus, we have Jugs already. We want a Frontliner still. I'm going for the Dome. I just have to try it. One time Zon Emblem. Fuck me. I guess it's a Demacian Emblem. And then we could go with uh, Demacian. Who's the other Demacian? We would just play Galio in that spot. 
Sure. All right, let's go ahead and level. There's our Silco. Demacian emblem. Uh, MF is Demacian now. I still could play one more, though. I think that would be the goal, play one more. I'm going to go ahead and slam the tier here, because no matter what, that tier item is going to go on Silco. I still have a possible chance later of hitting the sixth zone. If that ever happens, we just win the game, right? Am I even playing Heim? I'm probably not playing Heim. I also could just go ahead and open this. Gunner? I mean, I'm playing this before I'm playing that. There's another Silco. There's my Azir too. That's a pretty big upgrade. Rod for JG. I'm gonna build the JG and then slam that onto my Silco. I still need a J4 too. I still need another Demacian as well. I guess I could take this Sona, but that just feels bad, right? I could also go down MF. I could go down MF, put in GP. I don't think I'm gonna put in GP, I don't know. Tier, Cloak. It's just tier, right, for a blue buff. It has to just be blue buff. I need to play another Demacian. Fiora. What? I just play Fiora. I'm being dumb. I just play Fiora over MF, 100%. Give me a Fiora. I mean, that's a J4 pair. MF2. I still think I'm playing a Fiora over an MF2. I'm kind of still forced to roll every turn, which sucks, but it is what it is. Every time he activates his ability, his attack speed should go higher, and that should make the Rage Blade scale faster too there. A Gunblade here would also be great. Who am I making as my third Demacian? Is it just Warwick? I'm only playing three. There she is. We have the Fiora now. I do think this is better overall. It gives me another Frontliner too. I forgot that I have... I need to hurry up and put that Demacian emblem down. I'll just make it Swain. Swain's just an emblem holder now. I forgot that I have Frequent Flyer active. I should hold Silcos. Maybe Silco 3 is a possibility this game. Who knows? Uh, Fiora, can you stop targeting my backline, please? That was just straight up rude. There is a Sork player though, right? Where is he? Is this, is he playing Silco? Not playing Silco. I can't believe I actually forgot that I had the uh, frequent flyer going on. With that, I'm definitely just supposed to roll every turn. Roll every turn, hold Silcos, hit the J4-2, hit the Fiora-2, go from there. You can sell that off. Armor tier, what is this? Another tome, we have a chance. Here, we just go Vow here. Give it to me. Yes, we hit. We hit the Zaun emblem. Where is it? Chem Tank, Shimmer Injector, Bioware, and now we can possibly win the game. Uh, this tier is just gonna go on this one. We hit six Zaun. Six Zaun is so hard to hit now though. That's kind of ridiculous. If it's that hard to hit, I think I should just win the game almost automatically anytime you hit it. In other news, this Nasus is demolishing people. I mean, this guy can't even kill my board as is. That was one of the wind streakers, right? Yeah, we got this now. There's our J4-2, that's a big deal. We want Fiora-2. All right, let's look around really quick. There was a Shuriman player, right? He's playing Azir. He doesn't even have Azir in, what is this? I mean, that's getting sold, and I'm just holding the two of everything extra. But now that I have this chem tank explosion, I shouldn't be able to lose anymore, right? Come on, chem tank. My chem tank isn't even exploding. I'm just dealing too much damage to them. I can sell the Swain off, but I just have two of everything. Let's look around again really quick. No Silco, no Silco, no J4. L yeah, literally no one's playing any of my units. There's another Azir. There's my Fiora too. All right, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm still just in a great spot now. Emblems, if I see any, it's just Strategist Emblem, right? If we see any more, it's just Strategist Emblem. And then after that, what is it? Uh, Gunblade, Gunblade for Silco. Yeah. That's the plan. I do think, like, it's hard, because I should, like, I want to save, but at the same time, I kind of need to roll. There's our gunblade. I will yoink this right quick. They're all overcharged. 
let's look at this. So 30% of his maximum health, 2,800. And if I'm just gonna keep hitting J4 fours as well there's another one i'm two off i'm two off of j43 do i lose to any of these people i don't think i do which means i should hold until elder dragon probably roll it down and look for the rest i can probably sell silco off though right this is the one that's the strongest in the lobby other than me and i'm still just demolishing him like these fights have not been close yet yeah, I'm already on his back. Well, I'm on the Nasus, but kind of on his back line. If his Nasus killed the J4 there, that's fine. I just kill everything. This guy's going for Nasus 3, maybe? I sell this to 10. Yeah, we're waiting one more turn. No one's griefing me, right? Karma Swain. No forecast I care about. No forecast I care about. This one, that's actually kind of rough. He's 8 Bilgewater, though. 8 Shuriman. He can't hit 9 Bilgewater at this turn, at least, right? Does he have somebody who's not Bilgewater in? No. Yeah, and we haven't even seen the explosion yet. Like, I mean, I want them to not be close, but at the same time, I just want to see the explosion happen. There it is. Yeah, <laughs> deal with it. Now I can roll it down after Elder Dragon and hopefully hit one of these three starred. They did kind of make six on impossible to hit though. At least it feels that way. Also, how many emblems do I have? One, two, three, four emblems this game. Let's look around again. No griefing, no griefing, no griefing. That guy's going for Nyla three, maybe. Reforger gold, hit 30. Go ahead and use this. Take a TG probably. Yeah. Oh, we're one off. We're one off on multiple, right? There he is. We hit the J4 three. He is here and he has the explosion and we can still roll for an Azir. And a Fiora, I guess. Why not? What's in this? Anima Visage, Mana Zane, Hole Crusher. Uh, I actually don't like any of these. You know what? I'll take a Mana Zane. We'll take a Mana Zane and we'll just throw it on Fiora. It doesn't matter anymore now that we've hit our three-star J4. This is the only guy who could beat us. And I kind of hope he hits three-star Legendary, because that would be a great game. There's another Fiora. I mean, I might as well go for all of them, right? Oh, wait. No, I guess it doesn't matter, right? If the four Fiora gets a stair X gauge. Eh, I'd rather have the Warmogs. What just came... Oh, my chem tank. I don't want my chem tank off. All right, stun. Oh, wait, wait, that's not good. There we go. Stun everything. His only chance, I think, is to get my... Uh, J4 to get knocked off the map. So I should watch that, just in case. Jump. And does he explode? I want to see the three-star explosion. What the? Bro, what are you doing in the ground? I mean, he did explode, but he didn't do any damage with it. What was that man doing in the ground, though? I'm just going to hold these four. Nah, I won't hold them. There's a Fiora. All right, I'm going to give up on Zilko now. We're going to go for Fiora and Desir. I want to see this guy hit a three-star something. He's going for Nasus. All right, hit that Nasus. I want to see it happen. Bang. Stun everything. Bang. Oh, he's this guy's dead, so... He's not the one going for Nasus, though. The other one is. This guy, but he's zero gold. He's one off. He could get bailed out. Bail him out. Do it. It didn't bail you out. I'm sorry, sir. Strategist emblem? He has to take the strategist emblem from me. Um, I'll just take another TG, I guess, and put it on Echo. Oh, he hit. Oh, he did get bailed out. Okay. There's my Fiora. Give me a Fiora 3. I didn't hit it. Sad. All right. Well, we get to see Nasus 3 versus J4 3 with an explosion. The stun is actually kind of huge, though. Oh, he's in the he's in the ground. Uh, this Nasus probably needs to get up if you want a chance. Where? Wait. Oh, he's back here. I was like, where is he? Oh, he's just stunning the guy over and over. All right, it should still be a win. Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! Oh, it's a loss. The Nasus, the Nasus kind of won. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below.